Good morning, ma'am. I am Prashant, and my topic is if else in Python. So, introduction. Control structures. A control structure is a bro block of programming that analyzes variables and decides which statement to execute next based on the given condition. It means that the whole block of code that we wrote will not be executed, and it will only be executed if the given statement is satisfied. So the term control denotes the direction in which the program flows. So basically, a control structure determines the flow of the program in pro flow of events in a program. So in Python, there are three types of control statements: selection statements, iteration statements, or loops, and jump statements. So in selection statements, there are three types: if statement, if else statement, if else statement. An iteration statement or loops, there are two types of loops: while loop, for loop, and in jump statement, there are three types of statements: break, continue, and pass. So Python selection statements. In Python, the selection statements are also known as decision-making statements. So the selection statements are used to select a part of a program to be executed based on the given condition. So the Python pro program provides the Following selection statement, as we have discussed before: if statement, if else statement, if else statement. So let's talk about if statement in Python. The if statement checks the given condition, then decides the execution of the block of elements. If it is true, then the statements get executed. If it is false, then they are ignored. So the simple syntax of if is if condition colon in the next line with indentation statements. So let's take a look at an example. So in this example, we'll take the user input and use an if statement to check if the number is positive or negative. So the given code is num is equal to int of input enter a number. If num greater than zero, print positive. So let us suppose num is equal to six. So Python checks if six greater than zero. So since six greater than zero, it returns true and it prints po positive. Let us give a take a another number minus two. Num is equal to minus two. So Python checks if minus two is greater than zero. Since uh, since minus two is not equal to zero, it returns false and the statement gets ignored. The if else statement in Python. The if else statement checks the given condition and decides which block of statements to be executed based on the conditional result. If the condition is true, then the true block of element is executed. If it is false, then the false block of element is executed. So the basic syntax of if else statement is if condition indent colon with indentation is in the next line a block of code any block of code then else colon in the next line with indentation another block of code or statements. So here is a pictorial representation of if else statement. So a condition is given. If it is true, it goes to the if block. If it is false, it goes to the else block, and then it prints the output. So the general syntax of if else statement in Python is if condition if statements, then else statements. If it is true, that then it uh, prints if state if statements. False. If it is false, it pr it uh, prints else statements. That's it. So let us look at a simple example. So let us suppose age is equal to 19. If age less than or equal to 18, print you are a minor. Else, print you are an adult. So since age is equal to 19, if if statement checks if 19 is less than or less than 18. So since it returns false, it produ it produces else statement block. So it pr it prints you are an adult. So here is another another example to illustrate if else statement. Second example. Third example. So when we define an if or else statement, the block of statement must be specified using indentation only. Otherwise, it returns error. The indentation is a series of white spaces. 
we can use tab or space button to give indentation so here indentation is not a fixed number we can give any number of indentation but all statements must use must use the identical number of white spaces using if using if or else so elif statement in python when we want to test multiple conditions we use elif statement so the simple syntax of elif statement is if condition colon statement then elif condition statement then else state next statement so here is an example of if elif statement so num is equal to int of input of enter a number we have to input a number then if num is greater than 0 print false to then elif num equal to equal to 0 print 0 else print negative so in this code we are checking if a number is positive or negative and even 0 which is not possible using if else so we use elif statement so for example if we, if we give num is equal to 3 but uh, if statement checks if 3 is equal 3 greater than 0 since it returns true it prints it is positive so for example you give another number minus 2 so python checks if the number python checks if the minus 2 is greater than uh, 0 so since it returns false it prints negative so if we give zero in if else statement, zero is neither great is neither positive nor negative. So it returns an error. So that's why we use if else. If elif, sorry. So in elif, if we give num is equal to is equal to zero, it prints zero. Okay. So for example, if we give num is equal to zero, Python checks if num if num is if zero is greater than zero. So it returns false. Then it goes to the next iteration elif so 0 equal to 0 it returns true so it prints 0 that's it and thank you